guys and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. Today I'm going to be taking you through a little day in the life. So I'm going to be training, I'm going to be working and it's just going to be a day in the life of a 20 year old self-employed content creator, whatever you want to call it. But yeah, I have a big work block that I need to kind of get through this afternoon. So we're going to be going to Starbucks and obviously I'm going to take you along. Um, but as you know, I have mentioned on my YouTube channel before, but I am currently doing my PT course. So I have two final exams at the end. I literally just did my <clears throat> first one yesterday and passed and then I've just got my second one to do and I'm just going to do it today while I'm in Starbucks. And then it should be done and dusted. But yeah, and then I've also got to create some talking points for a call that I have tomorrow and also create and edit content and plan content and stuff like that. But yeah, as I said, first of all, we're going to be going to the gym. I'm going to be doing pull today. So I'm doing back and biceps and I'm actually quite excited. I was meant to be doing quads today, but my hamstrings and my glutes are still killing from Monday. So obviously quads is still a lot of movements involved using this, those muscles as well. So I just thought, let's just not, let's just not overtrain and let's just do it tomorrow instead. You know, I'm all about the resting and recovering and avoiding overtraining and injuries at all costs. <laughs> but yeah, as you will have seen as well for breakfast, I had a salmon bagel and then I had my greens, creatine and glutamine and some skin and hair vitamins all from EHP Labs. If you guys do want to get any money off supplements from EHP, then you can use my code Mia. I'll put it on screen and that will get you a little discount. Obviously, as I always say, supplements are there to supplement your already existing nutritious diet, but I like to take supplements mostly on a daily basis, things like greens and creatine 100%, um, just to obviously enhance the diet that I already have. And it can just help put you up there in the kind of micronutrient value as well, especially with the greens. Um, in one scoop of greens, I'm pretty sure it has more than your five a day in one scoop for me. That is really helpful. As you guys know, I don't like fruit. I like, I don't eat fruit. <laughs> and then I probably have one portion of veg in my dinner and my tea and that is about it which is not great so for me greens just really helps to get me up there in the higher micronutrient value for the day which is also really really important in having a nutritious diet and I know that and I know that I need to eat more fruit but I just hate fruit okay I know I'm not the only one you guys agreed with me on that video that I was talking about so I literally thought I was the only one that didn't like fruit okay I feel like everyone likes fruit except me it just gives me the ick. It's disgusting. Sorry. Sorry, somebody had to say it. I did just want to quickly touch on why I take glutamine and creatine. I do get lots of questions about glutamine, especially as to like why I take it. So the reason I take creatine is because it helps to increase muscle mass and it also helps to increase performance within the gym. I will put all the details explained points on the screen but that is the main reasons for me and then the glutamine really helps with my gut health and it also helps a lot with digestion I find that when I take glutamine my stomach and everything down there is just a lot happier so yeah that is why I take glutamine it's obviously not an essential I would say creatine is more of an essential than glutamine obviously no supplement is an essential you don't need any supplements like you don't have to have any supplements. That is not the only way that you can make progress. However, I do out of any supplement, if you're gonna buy some, I do recommend creatine the most. It is the most studied supplement out there and there has just been, from me personally too, proven benefits from taking it, um, including increased muscle mass. So if you're someone that is maybe wanting that as a goal, then I would highly highly recommend looking into getting some creatine for yourself. Creatine has just come back in stock on EHP Labs as well. So if you are wanting to get some, I will put my link in the description. You can shop some and use my code Mia, which as I said, will get you a little bit of a discount. But yeah, as I said, I'm gonna go train Paul and obviously I'm gonna take you along. And yeah, I'm gonna take you along on my day and I I hope you enjoy. Let's go. beautiful sunny day today as you can tell which is putting me in a good mood already because it's nearly the end of March well it kind of is the end of March and I feel like when we get into April we're deep into spring and then as soon as we get to May it's summer 
like it is actually summer when we get to May so I'm really happy about that and I also have some really exciting plans planned for May which I can't wait to tell you about and I we haven't like actually fully booked it yet but we're gonna book it in the next couple of days I'm really excited but as you will have seen I just had well I've just put my pre-workout in my bottle i'm having pride in fantasy soda because it is basically like my favorite flavor of all time yeah that is also from ehp labs what a surprise <laughs> all my supplements are from ehp labs so if you are looking for a good pre-workout that honestly is the one it's a pre-workout but it also has so many other added benefits that i'll put on screen which i which is also just why i absolutely love taking it it's not just like any other pre-workout it doesn't give you tingles either and it doesn't give you a crash afterwards and yeah it's just the best and if you're looking for a pre-workout that is the one honestly but yeah we're gonna go train pull and i'll take you along one two three into the four it's like this and like that and like this and major oh, distribution made my label on oh, my day for real major distribution labels call me bad bunny no yeah 1738 Hey, man, I swear I love her, how she with the damn Now we're about to witness the strength of street knowledge. Mm -hmm. But the fuck, motherfuckers that's showing up, you better jump. Guys, you, it's crazy as fuck. We didn't listen much around the law. Roger, bitches want it for she's not three. Spanish model with me, call the senior. Your heart is hard to carry after dark. Alright guys, thought I would do a little voiceover for today's workout. Um, so I was starting off with a dynamic warm-up. I feel like I say this in every single video, but dynamic warm-ups are so, so important before you go into your workout. You're better off doing dynamics before your workout and then more static um, cool-downs and stretches after your workout. So my upper body warm-ups usually last around 5 to 10 minutes, 10 minutes maximum. It usually takes me a little bit less to do my upper body warm-ups than my leg day warm-ups, obviously. Um, but I really like to use a band for my upper body dynamic warm-up. So if you don't have a band already, like a long, light, thin band, then I would highly recommend getting one. It's really good for mobility. Um, but first exercise we're going to be going into is a single arm row. So I've actually, I usually do these sat down, however, I wanted to try these stood up and it was much better in my opinion. I feel like when you sat down, especially with this machine that's at my gym anyway, when I'm sat down, I find that my lower back arches quite a lot whilst I'm sat down um, and it takes quite a lot of the tension away from kind of my upper back, which I'm trying to target. So being stood up just really helps me Put more focus and target on the muscles that I'm actually trying to target which obviously is what you want and um, so that is just a pointer that really helps me if maybe you don't feel this um, exercise in your back as well as you could do maybe try it stood up instead um, and but then I went into a underhand single arm pull down and I did three sets of ten reps on each arm and that's what I also did with the um, single arm rows as well but this is a really good exercise and um, I don't usually do this all the time and um, but the gym was quite busy this day so I decided to incorporate this into my workout and it was really good next up we have neutral grip pull downs I did three sets of 10 reps with this and with this movement you really just want to focus on keeping it as controlled as possible you also don't want to go past your range of motion on this either with lat pull downs no matter if it's neutral grip or wide grip I see lots of people kind of pulling this way too far down and all the way down to their chest which is not beneficial and you're going to end up injuring yourself so as you can see I kind of bring it just underneath my chin like just to my chin and that's what works for me personally but just make sure that you're not pulling it way too far down to your chest. 
Next up we're going to be going into a seated cable row and we did three sets of 10 reps. I don't know why I just said we, I meant I. <laughs> you guys didn't do it. I did three sets of 10 reps and same again, I just like to keep this movement as slow and controlled as possible and then went into biceps lastly and I did just some cable bicep curls. I find this exercise really good. I also like to do drop sets on this sometimes. Um, but I just did three sets of 12 to 15 reps. This is an exercise I like to do more volume within. All right, guys, that was the session done. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you give it a go. I am just about to rush home now. I'm just about to rush home now to have my dinner. And then I'm going to go and pick up Megan. And we're going to go to Starbucks. So, yeah, I will show you my meal prep once I get home. I'm back home. Please excuse the clothes <laughs> drying up there. That does not look very good. I think I'm gonna take my makeup off and I might get a bath, you know. I'm feeling a bath. So yeah, I'm gonna do that and then I am gonna make my tea. I'm gonna have salmon for tea tonight. I feel like whenever I'm vlogging, I'm having salmon for my tea. Also, by the way, for anyone confused if you're American or whatever, tea is dinner. And then what you guys call lunch, I call dinner. <laughs> I think it's just a northern thing because even southerners don't say that. So if anyone's confused, when I say I'm having tea, I don't mean drinking tea, I mean my dinner. <laughs> just wanted to clear the air with that one. But I finished all my exams and passed all my exams. I just need to do practical now. So I'm really happy about that. Um, I started editing this YouTube video. Actually, I've edited a full piece of content that I'm posting tonight on Instagram and then I have also planned my talking points for my call tomorrow so overall pretty productive day also had a good pull session this morning as well but I'm just gonna do some last little bits of work now and then just wind down for the evening you know have a little midweek wind down and get a bath have a face mask everything like that and just chill to be honest, I'm going to Newcastle this weekend, so I'm going to do, and Anton's coming home for like a month, so I'm going to try to do all of my girly self-care things while he's not here, because I don't know about anybody else with boyfriends or girlfriends, whatever, you feel like you can't fully do your like self-care routine as well, or definitely not as often anyway so I'm gonna take full advantage of the time that he's not here <laughs> and get a bath because I don't really get baths when he's here because we just spend time together you know I don't want to spend like an hour in the bath so yeah that's what I'm gonna do tonight I'm just about to actually sit down and reply to all of my DMs because I hate myself for doing it but I leave them all throughout the day obviously because I'm not just replying to DMs throughout the day but then I just have huge amounts to reply to, which don't get me wrong, I absolutely love. But it takes a while, so I need to actually prepare myself to actually sit down <laughs> and do it. Whilst obviously not having other things distracting me. Because I like to put my full attention to it. Because I love to like properly reply to all my story tags and stuff like that and my messages. So I'm going to sit down for about half an hour and do that. And then I will continue on with the self-care evening.
Okay guys, that is gonna conclude today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I am currently re-watching American Horror Story for the 10 millionth time. That is gonna conclude today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I actually had a really productive day and I'm happy with today. It's not like every day, but yeah, I'm happy with what I've got done today. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.